Alright, hey guys. Many of you have been asking me about my signature here on Hack Forums or any other site that I've been on, but mainly on Hack Forums, and you're wondering how do you make this kind of design? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys basically a breakdown of how I made this because it actually looks pretty cool and maybe you guys are interested in it. So, first off, I'm going to start by opening a new file, and it's going to be, it could be any size you want, but the signatures I make, they're 650 by 200. I know some websites have a limit. All right, now the next step you want to do is uh, start typing your text. So, all right, so for this, I'm going to just type tutorial. And the font I'm using, if you guys can see at the top, is called uh, Adobe Jeremont Pro. I don't know how to pronounce that, but pretty much just type in whatever you want. Uh, you can space it out. All right, and just make it look however you want. It's gonna be your text, and we're gonna add some effects to that as well. So I press Control A in this button at the top here that uh, makes it centered, and I'm gonna add subtext. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm gonna say tutorial thread or something like that. And of course, scale down the size of the text. All right, now control A to select everything and then I center it like that. And uh, <clears throat> here's a trick you can do, shift and then select both of them and then control E and that combines them. And now if you control A, you can center it vertically. See how it moved a little bit? So now it's completely centered everywhere around. So just a nice tip to make it look nice. You don't have to guess. All right, so I used some text effects. I it's been a while since I used Photoshop actually, so I don't remember exactly the effects I could show you guys. Um, here's the bevel settings, some inner glow settings, the color overlay settings, and a drop shadow. But for this video, since I don't remember you know, the exact effects that I used, I'm just gonna, I showed you guys the effects and I'm just gonna apply them to uh, my text. So. You guys can pause the video and check the effects. The top one is going to have these layer effects here. Alright, this, you could just pause and put it on 1080p. And uh, the bottom one, I'll show you that one as well. It's going to have these, so a bevel some inner glow, color overlay, a gradient overlay, outer glow, and drop shadow. So for this, really, you could just Google any gold effect. You can copy mine, or you can Google gold style text, and that'll work for this. So this is pretty much what I did. And I took the color of the background here by pressing print screen, and I already have it saved over here. So, you just make the color whatever your forum is. And so, like, it blends in with the forum. See how it blends in over here? All right, so now we have the basic font down. And uh, I also used a texture in the back. It kind of looks cool, as you can see here. So, I used a texture, this without it. And uh, it's really just a texture in my graphics pack all right so I actually found it I'm like pretty sure this is it so I pretty much did this and control uh, you actually have to rasterize this first control U turn down the saturation made it a bit, bit brighter now you could go through all these modes to add like a nice effect I think I did lighten or lighter color. Uh, we can just go with lighten, doesn't really make a difference. Just bring down the opacity a little bit. So now you just pretty much take your eraser and smooth out the edges. It's really simple what I did. Uh, just a texture like this. 
and I turned it into something that kind of looks like this. I'm not even sure if that's the exact texture I used, but it looks pretty close. So if I normal, make it normal. And now you just want to save this image. I'm just going to save it as thread, just random image, and save it as a PNG. And now you're going to need uh, Sony Vegas. Usually you can import this if you have, I believe, Adobe Photoshop CS, like the very newest one. You can import video directly onto here and you don't need um, Vegas, but I don't, it's on my laptop, so I can't really do that on my home PC. All right, you have your image in Vegas Pro. Now you want to go to File, Properties, and you want to change the width and height to the same size as your thread. So it's going to look like this, so it's nice and proportionate. All right, now you right click and insert a video track. And you have to download a particles effect pack. Pretty much, I just Googled or put on YouTube particle effects and th these will come up for free. So I have a bunch of different ones. So it, the effect really looks different which with whatever one you use. All right, and now on this, you have to right click, click maintain aspect ratio. So it fills the whole thing. Now what you wanna do is see this button down here? You have to make it uh, lighten. So now it only shows the particles and none of the black stuff. And I copy and paste it, and I pretty much invert it. Actually, I think there's a thing you could do. Oh, reverse. So you right click it and click reverse. And so pretty much what that'll do, it'll make it look like it's continuous. File, render as. Really, the settings don't matter for this. Actually, I think you might have to do a QuickTime movie. I haven't done this in a really long time, so I'm not sure, but just make sure you click Customize Template. And the size is the same size as your image. So 650 by 250. And now you render it. All right, now in Photoshop, you want to go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. You press OK. All right, so here's, you pretty much have this in Photoshop now, this animation. All right, so now you File, Save for Web. And the site I use has a 500 kilobytes maximum, so I use like GIF or GIF 64. And it'll show you the size down here. And it'll show you how it will look. So this is really something simple to make and it kind of looks cool and uh, you can make a high quality. Pretty much you just save it. Alright, and now when you preview this image on your forum, of course you can change it to the color to match any forum. So here it actually matches really nice. So this looks a lot like my uh, signature and it just looks really cool and it's something really similar to make. So I'm actually going to include this image on my thread thing or whatever. And pretty much right now I'm working on making videos. So I'm working on making tutorial videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, I haven't used Photoshop in a while, so this is like this. I did this out of the blue, so sorry if it seemed like I didn't know what I was doing, but kind of did make this just randomly. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and subscribe for more.